In this episode of The Breakdown, I'm going to show you how you can use one small light source to bounce it off of a wall and create a much bigger, softer light source. Welcome back to The Breakdown. I'm Miguel Quiles, and I'm here in the studio today, and I want to show you a really nice, simple setup to be able to create a big, soft light source using one small light source, which is just a light with barn doors. So let's go ahead and talk about our setup here. I have a Profoto B2, and in order to be able to shape the light a little bit, I've added the OCF barn doors. And the idea with these barn doors is that it's gonna help to eliminate some of the glare, uh, or the flare actually, that's coming into the lens. It's also going to keep the light off of her hair. So we're trying to basically control the light a little bit, so we're doing it with the barn doors. We have it aimed at this white backdrop from Savage. It's just a white seamless paper. And this is gonna act as our big, huge softbox. So we have the light pointed at the backdrop. It's gonna hit this background and it's gonna reflect back and give this beautiful, beautiful light to our model cat, who you've seen in our last few episodes. So for the background, we're using a Savage collapsible backdrop. If you've seen my episodes before, you know I love using these backdrops. Uh, they really give a nice fashion look uh, to these images. So um, that's our setup for the lighting. It's really simple. Profoto B2 bounced into this white um, seamless paper, and then that's bouncing back to fill in her shadows uh, on her face. So let's talk about the uh, camera setup here really briefly. I have the Sony a7R2, and I've paired this up here with the Sony 55 millimeter 1.8 lens. And this is a really fantastic combo, especially for a setup like this where we're shooting with not a lot of space. I mean, we're within arm's reach of one another. Having the 55 millimeter lens helps me to be this close, but still get uh, the framing the way that I want it to be. I'm using the Profoto Air Remote for Sony to trigger the B2. And I could actually control the power directly from the remote, which is very, very handy. Now for the um, reflector here, I'm using a silver reflector. Uh, you've seen me use this in many episodes. I have various shapes and sizes. Uh, I like using this particular one because it's got a handle. There's a couple of different brands that make it where they have handles on them. I would definitely suggest uh, getting one of those because it makes it easy. If you're trying to hold a camera and shoot at the same time, this will help you to be able to do that. Um, so that's our setup here. Uh, for our lighting, or rather for our camera settings, let's take a look here and see what we have dialed in. So I'm gonna be shooting these at an f6.3, 1 1 60th of a second, ISO 125. And these are the settings that will basically give us the exposure that I'm looking to capture. Um, so let's go ahead and let's take some shots and let's see how these come out. reflector gives this really nice little light in her eyes. All right, so there you have it, a really easy way to use one single light with barn doors bounced off of this paper to create this big, gorgeous, beautiful light. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments section below. Also, make sure that you follow Kat on social media. Make sure you check her out on Instagram. Also, while you're there, make sure you give me a follow as well. I share a lot of new images there, talk about cameras and lenses that I use, the lighting. I show BTS as well on there, so you guys can get an idea for uh, some of my other photo shoots to see how they're set up. So make sure that you follow us on there. Also, while you're here, subscribe to Adorama TV. They have a lot of amazing videos, amazing content for you guys to watch as well as the Adorama Learning Center. You know, there's tons of articles there talking about photography, videography, drones, audio, everything. So make sure you check that out as well. Thanks so much for watching The Breakdown. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye, everybody.